Hey guys, it's Jonathan Kingston, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Nauticam NAD850. Housing for the Nikon D850. Here we go. Ooh, liking what I'm seeing here. Looks like it comes in a travel case. Yeah, seems like a pretty solid case. Looks like we got extra batteries, O-rings, instruction set, and some Allen keys there. Pretty sweet. And here she is. Whoa. What a beauty. So this is the first Nauticam I've owned. I've shot with uh, Nikona systems. I've shot with CNC systems. Um, but I've been impressed with what I saw on the web about the Nauticam and kicking the tires here. Let's, uh, let's open her up and see how she looks inside. Oh, what a beauty. I'm really impressed with uh, what I'm seeing in the quality of construction and all the ports here. So there's the D850 housing. And next up is the 230 millimeter optical glass fisheye dome port. Looks like we got some extra nylon screws there. Extra O-ring and lube. is whoa heavy this is the first um, optical glass port that I've owned I've shot um, with other style dome ports before but this is uh, noticeably heavier than any dome port I've used before really like the cover that I see here comes with it a little neoprene cover um, it's uh, anti-reflective coated optical glass Looks like it's very, very high quality. All right, and then next up is gonna be the um, extension ring 70. Now this is uh, gonna adapt the Nikon 16 to 35 onto this system to line up the optical centers of the lenses. Here's the extension ring. Nice solid metal ring. Um, looks like it has a lock mechanism in here for when the dome port is attached to the housing. I like that a lot. All right, and then uh, to round out the lineup, I've got the um, macro port 87. This is going to work with the uh, 105 millimeter Nikon lens. Looks like this bad boy comes with an extra O-ring. And here we go. Again, solid, nice solid metal construction. There's the uh, front of the lens, nice lens cap, and there's the inside. Overall, I'm really impressed with the milling and the quality that I'm seeing on this uh, Nauticam kit so far. 
And then uh, a couple other little odds and ends with the uh, kit. I got the uh, M16 vacuum valve too. Now this um, housing uh, comes with uh, leak sensors built in, um, but this will allow me to uh, pre pressurize the rig and uh, leave it overnight and make sure that it stays at pressure. So have that extra peace of mind when I'm getting into the water. Um, so here's the, uh, the vacuum puller. It's like a little, looks like a little wine um, vacuum puller. And then I'm gonna have to uh, screw in the uh, vacuum port into one of the bulkheads. There's the, uh, there's the port. Looks pretty slick. Very simple, very straightforward. So we got the vacuum valve, port changing tool there. Um, and then of course I need the uh, gear for the um, 16 to 35. And that would be the uh, N1635Z. Again, looks really uh, solidly constructed. We have the, um, the inner ring that goes onto the 16 to 35 here on the zoom. And then we have these little rubber gaskets that can um, make it nice and snug onto the gear. And then this is a nice solid metal uh, gear. Again, just beautiful construction quality on this. I'm gonna get a lot of good service out of this uh, this rig. Um, and then finally, I'm still back in the dark ages with my strobe setup, still using my trusty uh, Nikonos SB105. So here's a five pin bulkhead converter for the TTL. Um, the system comes with an optical, uh, but this little bulkhead converter allows me to um, plug into the existing system and shoot with my SB105s. And again, I'll have to go through one of the bulkheads with this. But uh, there's the, um, the three pin adapter for those uh, SB105s. Again, just looks like really high quality, beautifully made stuff here. So uh, super thrilled. That is the unboxing of the Nauticam D850 housing and can't wait to uh, kick the tires on this sucker and um, shoot some stories with it.